the enormous story here. today. Odell Beckham Jr., Dan Graziano telling us at the beginning of the show that they are already heavily into negotiations yes. that could result as soon as this morning in Odell Beckham being released from the Cleveland Browns. Right, trying to rework his contract in a way that makes it less uh, – financially onerous for them if he if he clears waivers and they have to be responsible for the rest of it. Those are the negotiations that have been taking place this week. It's possible they get wrapped up today. Whenever that is, uh, they will waive him. To be clear, if he is waived and he clears waivers, uh, then he can sign anywhere he wants. And, Nico, let's pick it up where you started here. You think this one has Bill Belichick written all over it? Of course it does. I think that that would be a perfect hmm. fit. You think about the Patriots and what they're missing I don't necessarily think they need a corner or a pass rusher. They have some, some roster talent there. They need a number one receiver. You look at their offense, they have Mac Jones with a 68% completion percentage. They have two tight ends that they paid in the offseason. They don't have a true number one. They have some good number twos that run great intermediate routes, but if you bring in OBJ, that changes your offense. It changes the levels offensively to where your quarterback that's, yes, a rookie, but he's accurate and he knows how to go through the progression. So he's accurate, and in his progression, he's going to get OBJ the ball. It's going to be a win-win situation. Right, that could be a good fit, and I'm going to ask everybody for like their fit happened, in a minute. But, R.C., first I want to ask you for your honest assessment, because, again, you've been watching the kid play since college, maybe even before that. Um, what exactly is he now? D, D Wood brought that up yesterday. Like, we know what Odell Beckham Jr. Mm -hmm. was at his apex. What exactly is he as a receiver right now? See, wide receiver is the most situational football position, right? It's the most dependent football position. And we saw Randy Moss go through the same thing. Himbo sent me some numbers. See, he doesn't even have to be in the studio with you to help you out. When Randy Moss, ages 28 to 29, was with the Oakland Raiders, he averaged 3.5 receptions a game, 53 yards a game, and 11 total touchdowns. OBJ, since he's been in Cleveland, 3.9 receptions uh, yards per rece reception, 54 yards per game, 7 TDs. But you still see the talent just like you saw it with Randy Moss. He still gets behind people. He still gets open. He still has juice. So it's about the situation. And a great situation would be the Las Vegas Raiders. They now have a need with the tragic situation that just took place with Henry Ruggs. And they need an explosive down the field wide receiver. That's what Odell Beckham Jr. is. is. He just wasn't getting the football. And now you add Derek Carr to that who was playing at an MVP level before John Gruden left the team but even more so afterwards because now you add the leadership that he's shown each and every day to a guy like Odell Beckham Jr. who needs good chemistry, who needs good leadership at that position. I believe the Las Vegas Raiders are a slam dunk for Odell Beckham Jr. And I believe Odell Beckham Jr. would be a slam dunk for them. And then we could see some of that Randy Moss-like resurgence. Yeah, again, Moss, that video we were showing you was Moss when he got to New England. And, and that first season, I've said many times, I thought he should have been the MVP of the league. They gave it to Brady. In that 2007, I actually thought they should have given it to Randy Ball. So we can put the picks up there so far. So we got Ninko thinks the Patriots are the right fit. We got uh, Ryan Clark thinks the Raiders are the right fit. How about you, Sacho? Yeah, uh, I think that he needs someone who will get him the ball. And that's why I think the Raiders are a great fit. Because Derek Carr will get you the football, right? Like, Odell doesn't need to go to New England. He doesn't need to go to New Orleans, right, with a backup quarterback. Go to Derek Carr at the beginning of the season, he said, I'm going to throw the ball up to my guys, and I trust them to make plays. If Odell wants to be happy, go to a place like Las Vegas, where you have a quarterback like Derek Carr, who will literally throw the ball up to you and allow you to make a play. I think that's a perfect fit for different reasons in our seat. And, Graz, you had one sort of from a repertorial perspective. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I agree with these guys on the Raiders. I think it sounds fantastic. But I know the New Orleans Saints were a team that was expressing interest in Odell Beckham earlier this week before the trade deadline. Nothing materialized. Saints don't have the cap room to take on the contract. But uh, if he clears waivers uh, and they can make it work, it makes a lot of sense with the news this week that Michael Thomas is not coming back for the rest of the I year. I get it. And he is, he is, he grew up there. He went to high school in New Orleans. I, I don't know if that would be a factor in it, going back and playing for his hometown team or not. Maybe that interests him. There's one possibility they wanted to throw into the conversation and RC I'll ask you if I'm the Browns what sort of scares me to death is that he goes to Baltimore is that he stays in the division we've talked so much mm. about whether Lamar Jackson has the guy maybe mm. Rashad Bateman now healthy is ready to be that guy but you put Odell out there how, how would you see that fit because if I'm Cleveland that's what would scare me the most 
Now, I think that's an amazing fit. I think that's a fit of need for Baltimore, for sure. But you definitely want to know that Odell wants to be in a place that's going to be run-heavy first, much like the Cleveland Browns were. But I think that's huge if you're the Baltimore Ravens for this reason. There's no way you sat back and watched Antonio Brown down the stretch of the uh, last half season in Tampa or in the playoffs and thought to yourself, you know what? We shouldn't have made a bigger run for a proven veteran that still has a high skill level. And if you're the Baltimore Ravens, Ravens and Odell Beckham Jr. is willing to have this conversation, you have it. And sometimes revenge and ego and all of those things play into what you want to do, where you want to be, and how you want to do it. And so if Odell Beckham Jr. wants that conversation, if Odell Beckham Jr. would want to be a part of the Baltimore Ravens, that's absolutely something the Baltimore Ravens should welcome. I'm, I'm fascinated by that one. Quick final word. I'll give you two more. When the, the Giants, word got out the Giants were trading him, the Rams were the most interested team. Mm -hmm. They're big game hunters. You could obviously see them doing that. Boy, does it feel like the kind of thing Tom Brady might yes. ask the Buccaneers front office to do? Hmm. That, that's the first oh, thing I mean. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't say that, guys. If Antonio Brown is hurt Don't for like that, a guys. length of time. And they have a relationship. Uh, Jeff Dollinger was on here yesterday talking about the relationship between Brady and, uh, and Odell Beckham Jr. Just it's something to keep an eye on. We probably will know the answer next week. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.